I'm going to ask uh, the vicar. Did Jesus have to be crucified, or was there an alternative? Did Jesus have to be crucified, or was there an alternative? This is a very controversial question. Well, the question's not controversial. The answer's controversial. It's a very significant point of divergence for different convictions about who Jesus is and what Jesus came to do. There's certainly a tradition in the church Uh, that Jesus came to die, and in that sense, his life isn't of great significance. What matters is his death. uh, So for people who hold to that tradition, then his death on the cross was not only inevitable, but uh, important and right. I, I don't hold to that tradition. I guess that puts me outside that kind of conventional wisdom that has been the majority view in the church for a long time, but never the only view. Uh, I do think there's a certain inevitability about Jesus' death on the cross, and that is when you put utter goodness face to face with the truth of what humanity can be when it feels threatened, when it feels anxious, uh, and when it simply wants to remove the cause of that threat. Well, that's what happened in 33 AD. And so there was a certain inevitability about Jesus' death because utter goodness, when confronted with human nature, I guess utter goodness is going to be damaged. But I believe that the most important thing uh, about Jesus' incarnation is God's commitment to be with us regardless of how things turned out. So to me, it's not so much the death of Jesus that's significant in the story. It's the fact that he was committed to be with us even through that death, even beyond to his resurrection. But it's a great question. Keep the questions coming from all ages in the church. Uh, It makes St. Martin's a place of lively debate and discussion and growing in faith.